Okay, it's a pretty historic day here when we swap out 340 kilos of lead for about uh, 100 kilos of of lithium. Uh, so this is our rear battery here. We will be taking out eight of these Odyssey PC2150 105 amp hour AGMs, and there's another two of them up front. Uh, so we're just going to start off by, um, we've got all the power turned off, we're going to go ahead and uh, take off the straps, cables, all that sort of thing, and get those babies out of there, and get the tray out of there, and uh, see about constructing a tray then to take the headway pack. So uh, we get these out and come back down. Okay, so we got the charger pulled back out of the way. We're now going to get at the uh, two batteries up front here and get them out. We'll be dropping in 400 amp hour Thunder Skies in here to run the 12 volt uh, systems. Oh dear. Okay, charger was on the move there for a second. So we got the front batteries out. We're going to drop the Thunder Skies in here now just to have them in place. We're going to put the charger back in. Now this camera really is junk. Oh, you can see in there he's got a bit of black um, um, material just on the steel tray just to stop it damaging anything. Okay, Thunder Skies are in. Sitting on the tray. Just got to figure out some way now of uh, securing them in that doesn't end up shorting out half of the terminals on there. So, so far so good. So, Thunder Skies are in. Yeah, with our red cover. I'll hit you in a minute now. So we got ourselves a bit of, um, got ourselves a bit of uh, material here just to, just to stop any short circuits. And uh, you know, here's here's a, here's my best friend helping hand, and uh, that's it. They're in, so we got to get the headways into the back now. Alrighty, so we got our pack basically in there. Uh, had to do a few changes to the plan. Uh, the first being that I had to cut off. Um, Two of the uh, I had to cut off two of the um, columns there so that it would fit. It had a bit of a size issue. That's not a big deal. There'd be plenty of space up top here to uh, put in those particular cells when we uh, get them. And uh, so as you can see, it's a pretty good fit. Plenty of clearance there for the ends. Um, everything is clear, the chassis of the car. Just got a measuring tape in there now so I can uh, organize some of the, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Unistrut, so I can start making some brackets to hold the pack in there. But that's about it, the pack is sitting in, I'm happy with it, and uh, as you can see from our suspension here, uh, we've seriously, uh, we got ourselves a, a mud buggy here, so um, I think I'll have to take out those uh, assister springs that I put that I put in there, so uh, we're certainly up a whole lot of clearance on the car there, it's increased a lot. Um, you can see around the back end probably as well, loads of space after coming into play, the uh, camber on the wheels is better, um, you can just see our pack literally just kind of sits above the, the top of the boot there. So the next plan is to get some of that stuff cut and see about see how it looks with getting it in there and getting the polycarbonate cover 
on here then so I can set up the fuse and um, service disconnect. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, so we've set up our boot area here to install the headway traction pack. Got our two pieces of uh, strut in here where we had the old um, tray for the head acids. We've installed here a bit of um, matting uh, to go onto the boot floor. So what, what we're going to do now is we're going to basically drop our pack in. We've fitted our fuse and, uh, and uh, shut off there. So we're going to get that in and hook it up and go for a quick spin. Hands everywhere here. Put your hands everywhere. Hands. Okay, so we got, let's, let's, let's double check that. So fuse out. 80 volts on the fuse. Closing this should bring on the BMV or or, or um, kill us. So here here goes. Still here. We got a BMV. Okay, we got 79 volts, 79.8 volts on the system. vacuum pump is pumping up, taking half the day, gear, brakes off, we're driving, feels very jumpy. Um, we might have to put a couple of sheets of head in there just to uh, just to get it back to normal. 78 volts. Okay. That's it for now folks. <laughs>